So, did you take some time to think about accompanying us to Londinian? Only three other people I'd want on a mission like this. And I'm looking at one of them. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Study of the Terramorph, the Red Devils are spent. It's a damn shame that it was necessary to reopen this facility. Planet. But someone has Romanticize to romanticize a place that when you're away from it for long enough. Surfaced. But I forgot what a dust crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, oh, what do you need? You project personnel? Supplies are for project personnel only. Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. It sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? Don't worry, I'll handle the paperwork.
powder. to leave this orbit immediately. The United Colonies will not be held responsible for any harm you suffer by proceeding. Tolomon 2 is a biological exclusion zone. Nothing down there but terramorphs and UC soldiers keeping an eye on them. Best course of action is to leave while you're still able. Let me check my logs. <laughs> All right, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. 
Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Then you're in the right place. Ah, oh. and what do we have here? Commander Hatoum, I... No need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Terramorphs, and plenty of them. Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. We are unwanted guests on this planet and, as a rule, I don't put my people in any more risk than is absolutely necessary. We've got it hard enough out here. So, no, there will be no cavalry sweeping into the rescue. The initial Terramorph outbreak that overran Londinian during the tail end of the Colony War came as a complete shock. Waves of the creatures appeared out of nowhere, and the city was quickly overwhelmed. There were some attempts at evacuation, but Ve Victors decided more definitive action was merited. He ordered the spaceport to be bombed, ensuring no other ships could leave the city, halting the spread of the outbreak but leaving large sections in ruins and condemning countless lives. And the intervening 20 years have only made Londinian more hostile, not less. So my people will not be coming for you out there. Understood? Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceli's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. Pinpoint's a bit strong. The equipment will be able to get us a rough location of any acceptable samples in the scan area. It'll be up to you, Kaiser, and I to find the things. the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city.
one for me, all right? Prioritize what we're carrying. Glad to hold. No, we done talking already. Well, hello. I'll only count. allow you to temporarily restore power to most facilities in the city. Systems should shut themselves back down automatically. Set on your gear? You... 
Are you ready to do this? Yeah, just pre-mission jitters. You hear about a place for so long, it maybe gets bigger in your head than it should be. But you don't need to worry about me. I I'll be all right. Now, are we doing this or not? Then let's get this show on the road. Kaiser, Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock codes transmitted. You may open the gate when ready.
these samples collected. All right. Samples I'll hand those over secure. to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right. Geyser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. Then we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. A real marvel. Things are wrong. in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only... What's... What's happening? Leeches are terramorphs. But no, it can't be true. Heat leeches are everywhere. They live everywhere. That means terramorphs. Oh my god. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We... we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. No, Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here, let alone blossom. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method. One that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds. It's incredible.
That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbe should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Aceles we'll have to look into, but given what we know about the creatures, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. Pretty Major is right, but if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the Terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a Terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? Me neither. You'd have to know this all exists, first and foremost. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! We may proceed. Go! on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. A bioweapon no one would recognize as one. Oh, that's a terrifying prospect. Sort of thing that'll keep you up at night. And the sort of thing whoever did this probably didn't expect us to uncover. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Seti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. I can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone bound away.
certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? You... you okay, Captain? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. ideas where we could get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed.
Admiral Sonon. We need to make the evacuation request. That's... That's my father he's addressing. He was here? Didn't think he'd have the guts to look those soldiers in the eye before blowing this place to pieces. Admiral! It just... transformed. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Colonel, the troops that closed off the sewers after my evaluation, they're all in this facility. Other than our casualties, yes, sir. Good. Get them into defensive positions around the spaceport. No one leaves. I'll send ships as soon as possible. Thank God. None of us wanted to go down swarmed by those things. That won't be your fate, Colonel. You have my word. Transcription complete. Physical copy available. An invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Grab that recording. We... We should talk. Evictus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all this a secret. Didn't he? You heard that recording. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon, and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's... No. He's worse than a murderer. He's a butcher. He doesn't give a damn about human lives. He simply uses them as pawns to satisfy his goals. Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But if the plant was used to trigger the attacks, could Vey Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? And there's no one he's in contact with that could help him on the outside? He got a hold of you, didn't he? Not tight enough, apparently. He's played everyone for fools and repeated his crimes. Oh, that's what the UC gets for keeping him alive. But I guess we're not getting any more answers right now. Come on, let's go get that last sample.
Just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon.
look at all of you, back from the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion? Can't be positive until we run some tests. But knowing that the Terramors have been masquerading as heat leeches all this time is a big find. Arguably makes things more feasible, now that we know what we're dealing with, not less. Agreed. Plus, I don't think you're gonna have to push real hard to get folks on board with cleaning up one of the galaxy's greatest pests if this is what they're capable of. But none of that's getting done without the samples. You do have them, right? Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the Terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Good. We'll all meet back at mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him.